Hi everybody, it is time for math. Today we're gonna to do two things, a number talk, and then we are going to talk about trading in our ones for tens, okay? So um, I noticed that trading in our ones for tens is a tiny bit confusing for us sometimes. We're gonna go back to that. And our number talk is going to be on a special number that I was feeling today. You wanna guess? It's a number between one and 100. What could it be? It's a high number, a really high number. What could it be? <clears throat> okay, it's 87. Did you guess 87? 87, so how would you think I would write 87? I actually want you to get out your whiteboard and your marker and your eraser, and I want you to do this with me. <clears throat> how in the world do you write the number 87? 87, so you have to listen to it. 87. So the first part of the word is 80. So we know it starts with an 8. So we're going to write an 8. And then the second part of the word, 87, is the number 7. Okay? If we count by 10s, do this with me. We can hear the 80. 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, so here's what it looks like. 87, 87, okay, all right. So how could you make 87? What are some different ways that you can make 87. So I want you to think about all of the different ways that we have learned about making numbers, <clears throat> ways to show our thinking. What are all of the different ways? So think about tens and ones. Think about addition. Think about um, tally marks even. Okay, let's start with some addition. Let's start with some addition, okay? All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with, and it's kind of because it's such a big number, okay? We have to write 10 tens, 10 tens. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing, and then I'll turn it around for you. So I'm gonna write small. Did I say 10 tens? I'm gonna say eight tens. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Okay, I know that's four, and I know four plus four is eight, so I, have, I know I have four more to go. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Let me check to see if that's eight. One, two, three, four. Actually, watch this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 plus seven, and we know that that equals. 87. All right, <clears throat> there's some other ways to do this. So we can think about doubles, like what plus what equals eight, but we can actually turn that into tens. Okay, so we know that four plus four equals eight. Four plus four equals eight. So then I know that 40 plus 40 equals 80. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take these four, drop them down, and I'm going to take these four, oops, and drop them down. And then I'm going to write 40 plus 40 plus 7 equals 87. Do you see that? Okay, then I can just think about all the different ways of how to make the number eight, but instead of using ones, I use tens, okay? So I can say six plus two equals eight, and so that means that it's actually 60 plus 20, and then I have to, I cannot forget my ones over here, my seven, which is right here. Um, plus seven equals 87. So that's one way. 
Um, I can do five plus three equals eight, right? Five and then six, seven, eight, but I need to make it 10, so it's 50 plus 30. So I'm gonna do that. 50 plus 30 plus seven, I can't forget that, right? Okay, and there's lots of different ways to go about this. Okay, so maybe you have more ways that you want to write. Another way is through tens and ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. And I'm gonna make my chart, my tens and ones chart, my T chart, tens and ones, and I'm gonna get my tens and ones out. Okay, so I've got my ones, which are my rocks, and then I've got my tens, which are my, um, let's see here, which are my crayons? Do, 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 do. Crayons for my tens. Rocks for my one. So the number is 87. I'm just going to write that at the bottom so that my brain can remember because I love to see things. My brain especially loves to see things. 87. It helps me think about them. Okay. All right. Mm. How many tens and how many ones in 87? How many tens and how many ones in 87. Mm hmm. That's right. We've got eight tens, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So there's my 80 for my tens. And how many ones do I need? 87. I need seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ones. So here's 87. All right. Nice job. Please build this on your own. 87. Okay. And when you're done, you can, um, we can put it on pause. And then when you're done, press play. And we'll do the next part. Okay. The next part is crazy. It's tally marks. Tally marks. But it's not that crazy because we know that 5 and 5 is 10. So we need to have 8 groups of 10. And so what I like to do is do the two groups of tally mark and circle them so that I know that that's one group of 10. So I want you to do it with me and I'm going to show you. Okay, here we go. Ready? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's one group of ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Another group of ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, whoa, two, three, four, five. Another group of ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Circle. So I've got four groups of 10. I know four plus four is eight, right? I know 40 plus 40 is 80. So I know that I need four more groups of 10, right? <clears throat> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's one group of 10. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Another group of 10. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need one more group of 10. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I need seven ones, okay? So I'm gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Seven ones, okay? Let's count <clears throat> again by tens and then count on by ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87. Another way to do it is counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Now counting on by ones. 86, 87. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. The last thing that I want to show you is trading in tens for ones. Okay. Trading in tens for ones. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna draw our T chart. I don't know why I turned it over. Ooh, <coughs> sorry, friends, I'm doing this wrong. T chart, tens, ones. Okay, we have to have how many ones to be able to trade it in for a ten? How many ones do we have to have to trade it in? For a 10. That is correct. We need 10 ones. So I want you to get your counters. I'm going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 ones. Now, because I have 10 ones, I can trade them in for one 10. So now I have 10. Okay. So, and then I can keep building and trade in my ones for another 10, right? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can trade these in Whoop. for another ten. Now I have ten, twenty. Okay, do you see how that works? I just want you to know that ten ones is the same thing as one ten. Ten ones is the same thing as one ten. Okay. Um, and that is, and then when we are counting by tens, it makes things so much easier. I think of ten as like an absolutely magic, magic number because there's so much that we can learn and grow and do with that. I'm not going to tell you too much about the math pages. This is asking you to count by tens. They are highlight, they have the, this is one whole group of 10, this is another whole group of 10, and this is another whole group of 10. So they, they kind of switch off by shading them different colors. Okay, now this is asking you to do some addition facts. You are going to have to have your parents read this to you. Okay, because it's asking you about coloring the frogs different colors and then making equations from the frogs. Okay, all right. I just don't want to spend too much time on video with you. Not too much screen time. Okay, I love you. Good luck. Reach out for help.